Hey everybody, so today we're going to be talking about two champions, and on those two champions we're going to be talking about two different items. I just played League for 16 hours in Season 14, and I think I have a pretty firm grasp as to what items are going to be good, at the very least on Mordkaiser and Aatrox. Now beyond those two champions, I have tested some other builds, I have tried some other things, and I think that the two items I'm talking about will overall be the best um, in top lane, at least for AD and AP champions. Not every top laner will go these two items, but I think overall they'll be the strongest. So I'm going to try to keep this video 10 minutes or less because I need to go sleep. So in front of you, you're going to see some uh, plays of Aatrox and Mord kind of showing off the two items. Now what are they? They are Rift Maker and Sky Sunderer. Not Divine Sunderer, Sky Sunderer. I have to continuously look at it because it's named just... Sorry, it's Sundered Sky. I, I get it wrong every time. I kid you not. Sundered Sky. Sundered Sky and Rift Maker. Okay. Now, why are these two items doing so good, at least on Mord and Aatrox? Although I do assume that they're going to be good on everyone else as well. Okay. First up, we're going to start with Rift Maker because it's the easier one to explain. Sundered Sky is like really cool. Well, actually, no, we need to start with Sundered Sky because you guys are probably seeing Aatrox in front of you. So it'll probably be like Sundered Sky, then Rift Maker. I'll go into it. So anyway, so what is Sundered Sky? Sundered Sky is a replacement for Divine Sunderer, but it's Riot's attempt to uh, kind of make it more uh, towards champions who don't just spam abilities like Jax and, you know, spam auto attacks in front of you. It is an item that every six seconds per target uh, can give you a 150% uh, damage attack, plus it heals you for 140% of your a your base AD, plus 7% of your missing HP. Um, numbers subject to change. I'm sure that Riot will probably, they'll probably nerf the AP items soon. The AD items, probably not, but you know, again, numbers subject to change. So Sundered Sky is really good on champions who don't auto attack that much, but come into auto attack every so often. Now the cooldown on this item, the heal, is per target, meaning you can auto attack one target, then a second, then a third, and you can proc the heal, then the heal, then the heal. So long, it's it's per target, it's like Jarvan's passive, if you wanna think about it like that, okay? And because of how Aatrox functions, you have to remember Aatrox heals based on his damage dealt. Because this is a 150% damage attack. It, it's a crit, but it's also not a crit. It just does 150% damage, not 175% damage like a normal crit, okay? I don't even know if Infinity Edge affects it. It, it doesn't really matter, okay? The point is... Um, when he does this attack for 150% damage, he heals based on that, right? Then in his ultimate, he heals more because his ultimate increases his healing. Then, because you're probably Perseverance, because you're a normal person, that multiplies your healing again, okay? So these heals on this item end up being very good for Aatrox. Because Aatrox is passive, he tends to not auto-attack that much, but when he does auto-attack, it heals. That means that Sundered Sky, particularly on Aatrox, particularly with his passive, allow him to do quite good. Now, in addition to Sundered Sky, um, you're probably seeing in here, I've gone Eclipse a lot. Why have I gone Eclipse a lot? Because uh, Sundered Sky heals you and Eclipse shields you. Uh, because Sundered Sky is healing you just based on pre-mitigation numbers. Um, remember, it's just healing you 140% of your base AD plus 7% missing HP. That isn't affected by armor or anything. Eclipse is just giving you a shield. So because armor pen in this game is really, really, really not very good right now, it means that items that don't really need you to get into armor pen are pretty good. Okay, Black Claver is quite bad right now. So Eclipse, Sundered Sky, those are doing really really good on Aatrox. Tons of healing, tons of shielding, um, good damage, um, because the Eclipse is giving you percent health damage that scales well, the Sundered Sky is giving you, you know, decent crits that does damage, um, you've got your magic damage passive from Aatrox, of course, so you can kind of get by with this build without, um, you know, needing to get into armor pen, because I'm going to be blunt, there's basically no way to get armor pen on Aatrox right now in a good way. I'm assuming at some point, right, we'll come back and, and maybe buff up armor pen, because Black Cleaver right now is doing really bad. At either rate, if you're playing Aatrox right now, and as, as you've probably seen in front of you, I highly recommend Sundered Sky. Sundered Sky, very, very good right now. Now, on the other hand, uh, coming up next, I I I, I don't re I, I'm I, I might make a video like more in depth on this later, but I you know kind of visually and then just me telling you, Sundered Sky that's very good. And in fact, let me go into it a little bit more just because I'm 
I, I can, like I'm the one making this video, I get to do what I want, right? Um, basically, uh, the, the key right now is most bruiser items are really, 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 really bad, okay? I kind of went over that with Black Cleaver. Most bruiser items are terrible, so you want to avoid going into those bruiser items, okay? The three that are good, at least from what I've seen, Sundered Sky seems to be the best overall. Eclipse is decent, but can leave you a bit squishy, so, you know, you kind of be careful. And then Spear Sojin is a supporting item, to give you ability haste, uh, is pretty good as well. Beyond that, um, Sterics Gauge, all this stuff like that, I've tried to, to avoid them as much as I can. You can see what I've done here is I've augmented my Sundered Sky with a Jack Show, the protein. Um, because that gives you armor and magic resist and multiplies your armor and magic resist longer in combat. Well, I tend to be in combat a long time. So I've kind of like avoided the bruiser items and you know gone like that so that's that's at the very least that's what i would recommend uh for this first day of the patch okay now for ap side for the mordekaiser side i would recommend rift maker first i would recommend rylize and then i would recommend rift maker riot saw fit to nerf most items to ensure that you know the general power level of items went down except for ap champions they buffed their items or did not nerf them at all this means that as everyone else's power went down, AP item power went up. Mord, in particular, is doing insane right now. And I mean absolutely insane. I, I play Mord and I keep thinking to myself, this champion really shouldn't be doing what he's doing. Now, Riftmaker, in particular, is an interesting item because they changed how Omnivamp work. Riftmaker is the only item that gives Omnivamp. Now, um, for five seconds, you get 2% more damage, right? So you get two, then four, then six, then eight, then 10% more damage after five seconds, right? Now, after those five seconds, you get 10% Omnivamp, but Omnivamp has been changed. Omnivamp now heals 100% of the damage you deal to champions. It does not get reduced by anything, okay? That means if you're AoEing with your Mord passive, full Omnivamp. If you AoE with your Q, Omnivamp. If you AoE with your E, Omnivamp. It, just 10% of all of that, okay? Okay, which can add up pretty quickly as you'll probably see in front of you. Okay, now it does get reduced by 33% on minions, but because you can only access the Omnivamp by being in combat with champions, it's really not that big a deal. You're, you're not really going to be using it on minions to begin with. Okay, so you open with a Rylize, which is a huge boon, and then you go into Riftmaker. Riftmaker multiplies your damage by 10%, which is quite good. Okay, and then it gives you this huge Omnivamp healing. Then, of course, much like I did on Aatrox, I augmented that with a Jack Show, the protein. Jack Show, um, I'm not sure if it should be nerfed, um, but it's like one of the only good defensive options in the game right now. So you go Rylize, you go Jack Show, then you, so you go Rylize, you go Riftmaker, and then you go Jack Show. Riftmaker is just quite good right now. You can, you can do a lot of different board builds, uh, with 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 maker right now okay and so uh with both these different champions i've augmented them with a lot of different like healing items and utility items on mord i have the rylize and i have the uh, the rift maker into the jack show on the hx i have the eclipse and the sky sunderer into the jack show now you don't need to go jack show and i've I've done eclipse into uh sky sunderer into sojin on hx but the thing is like, once I start getting to that fourth item, particularly in Aatrox, I don't really want more damage at that point, particularly because everyone's just building full damage right now. <laughs> um, that's one thing you've probably noticed in your life, okay? Everyone's just building full damage right now. So you go Jack Show, and on both these champions who who like these long fights, right, Jack Show does quite good. Even if you haven't built any other armor and magic resist, but you will have some because you have boots, right? But at any rate, even if you haven't, uh, with the 30% additional armor and magic resist, that means Jack Show is 300 health, 65 armor, 65 magic resist after 5 seconds. That's a pretty tanky item. Um, it is expensive, and it doesn't give you anything else other than that armor and magic resist. But I found, uh, I have found on these two champions, that getting that armor and magic resist often outpaces getting more damage or anything like that. Um... That's just one thing that I've personally found. So on day one, just you know, keeping this video short, uh, just talking about these different items, I think um, the core build right now is two items into Jack Show. I think that's on the AD side and the AP side, if you're going like a bruiser, that is what I would say is like the core build right now. Now you guys can play around with that. You guys can build whatever you want, but that's what I found is working for me right now, which, uh, you know, it... It is, it is working for me uh, pretty well, so, you know, I would recommend, I, I'm not sure if they're going to nerf Jack Show, I hope they don't, they might, um, I hope they don't nerf uh, 
um, um, what's it called? Uh, Sky Sunderer, because uh, that's you know kind of one of the only good Bruiser items right now. Uh, Rift Maker. I don't know what's going on with Rift Maker. Like statistically, it shouldn't be that good. It should be good, but it is doing so good right now. Mord is doing so. If you're a Mord lover right now, just like go queue up a bunch of Mord games. Like I promise you, you're gonna be like you're gonna be sitting there and you're gonna be like, oh my god, like. What is happening here? Like, I was like, bored. I was like, dude, why am I winning everything? I was just like, I don't feel like, I didn't feel like I was doing anything different. I just won every fight. So there's my day one builds. There's what I would recommend you guys do. Um, I would recommend you do that and you go win games right now. So thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Uh, leave a comment down below on your thoughts, your builds, things like that. Thank you, everybody. And have a great rest of your day.